This video was made to complement Immigroup's Practice Citizenship Test, which you can use at www.immigroup.com forward slash tools forward slash citizenship dash test. This video contains practice questions and their answers. To use it, pause the video after the question to guess the answer. What is the name of the Premier of New Brunswick? A. Premier David Alward B. Premier Keith Ashfield C. Premier Sean Michael Graham D. Premier Bernard Valcourt Answer Premier David Alward What is the capital city of New Brunswick? A. Bathurst B. Fredericton C. Moncton D. St. John Answer. Fredericton. Why is trade with other countries important to Canada? A. It enhances our standard of living. B. It makes it easier for us to travel to foreign countries. C. It enhances our economy and raises our standard of living. D. It brings in cheaper goods. Answer. It enhances our economy and raises our standard of living. When must federal elections be held? A. About every four years. B. On the third Monday in October, every four years following the most recent general election. C. Whenever the Prime Minister calls the election. D. When the MPs want a new Prime Minister. Answer. On the third Monday in October, every four years, following the most recent general election. Name all the federal political parties in the House of Commons and their leaders. A. Conservative, Harper. NDP, Mulcair. Liberal, Trudeau. Bloc Québécois, Bolu. Green Party, May. B. Conservative Harper. Green May. Liberal Ray. Bloc Québécois Duceppe. C. NDP Leighton. Green May. Liberal Ray. Bloc Québécois Pele. D. Liberal Ignatieff. Conservative Harper. NDP Termel Green May Answer Conservative Harper NDP Mulcair Liberal Trudeau Bloc Québécois Bolu Green Party May Which party becomes the official opposition? A. The party with the second most MPs B. The party receiving the least votes C. Any independent candidate. D. The party the Prime Minister selects. Answer. The party with the second most MPs. What is the role of the opposition parties? A. To assist the Prime Minister. B. To sign bills. C. To oppose or try to improve government proposals. D. To put forward bills to be passed. Answer. To oppose or try to improve government proposals. Which party is the official opposition at the federal level? A. The New Democratic Party. B. The Liberal Party. C. The Green Party. D. The Conservative Party. Answer. The New Democratic Party. What is the name of the Prime Minister of Canada and his, her, party? A. Bob Ray, Liberal Party. B. Stephen Harper, Conservative Party. C. Nicole Turmel, New Democratic Party. D. Christy Clark, Liberal Party. Answer. 
Stephen Harper, Conservative Party. What is a voter information card? A. Tells you who the candidates are in your electoral district. B. Tells you what province to vote in. C. A form that tells you when and where to vote. D. A form that lets you know your voting time. Answer. A form that tells you when and where to vote. Who has the right to run as a candidate in federal elections? A. Anyone. B. A Canadian citizen who is 16 years old. C. Any man who is at least 18 years old. D. Any Canadian citizen who is at least 18 years old. Answer. Any Canadian citizen who is at least 18 years old. Who do Canadians vote for in a federal election? A. The best speaker running in the election. B. A candidate they want to represent them in Parliament. C. Someone to become the Premier. D. All of the candidates in their electoral district. Answer. A candidate they want to represent them in Parliament. Which federal political party is in power? A. Green Party B. New Democratic Party C. Liberal Party D. Conservative Party Answer. Conservative Party How are senators chosen? A by the Governor-General of Canada B. By the Premiers of all provinces C. Appointed by the Queen D. Senators are appointed by the Governor-General on the advice of the Prime Minister Answer. Senators are appointed by the Governor-General on the advice of the Prime Minister What should you do if you do not receive a voter information card telling you when and where to vote. A. Go to the police station. B. Call your Member of Parliament. C. Assume you cannot vote. D. Call Elections Canada or visit their website. Answer. Call Elections Canada or visit their website. After a federal election, which party forms the new government? A. The party with the most elective representatives becomes the party in power. B. The Queen picks a party to run the government. C. The Governor-General proposes a law for elected officials to become the governing body. D. The Premiers of each province pick a party to run the government. Answer. The party with the most elective representatives becomes the party in power. Which of the following statements about residential schools is not true? A. The federal government placed many Aboriginal children in residential schools to educate and assimilate them into mainstream Canadian culture. B. The schools were poorly funded and inflicted hardship on the students. C. The schools were welcomed by the Aboriginal people. D. Aboriginal language and cultural practices were mostly prohibited. Answer. The schools were welcomed by the Aboriginal people. Who are the Quebecers? A. European settlers in the 1600s. B. Descendants of the French colonists. C. Descendants of the Anglophones. D. People of Quebec. Answer. People of Quebec. Who are the Acadians? A. Aboriginal people of the Arctic. B. French-speaking Catholics living in Ontario. C. The descendants of French colonists who began settling in what are now the Maritime Provinces in 1604. D. English-speaking refugees who settled in Louisiana. Answer.
The descendants of French colonists who began settling in what are now the Maritime Provinces in 1604. What is the largest religious affiliation in Canada? A. Roman Catholic B. Muslim C. Jewish D. Hindu Answer. Roman Catholic which act granted for the first time in Canada legislative assemblies elected by the people? A. The Constitutional Act of 1867 B. The Constitutional Act of 1791 C. The Constitutional Act of 1982 D. The Constitutional Act of 2010 Answer. The Constitutional Act of 1791. Which act granted for the first time in Canada legislative assemblies elected by the people? A. The Constitutional Act of 1867. B. The Constitutional Act of 1791. C. The Constitutional Act of 1982. D. The Constitutional Act of 2010. Answer. The Constitutional Act of 1791. Who was the first leader of a responsible government in the Canadas in 1849? A. Sir John A. Macdonald. B. Robert Baldwin. C. Louis Riel. D. Sir Louis Hippolyte La Fontaine. Answer, Sir Louis Hippolyte La Fontaine. Who was Sir Sam Steele? A. A great frontier hero, mounted policeman, and soldier of the Queen. B. A military leader of the Métis in the 19th century. C. The first Prime Minister of Canada. D. The father of Manitoba. Answer, a great frontier hero, mounted policeman, and soldier of the Queen. Who had played an important part in building the Canadian Pacific Railway, CPR? A. American Railroad Engineers B. Acadian Railroad Workers C. Chinese Railroad Workers D. Afro-American Slaves Answer. Chinese Railroad Workers What is the head tax? A. Race-based entry fee charged for Chinese entering Canada B. Fee charged for anyone entering Canada C. A tax imposed on beer beginning in 1867 D. A fee charged for moving westward in the early 1900s Answer. Race-based entry fee charged for Chinese entering Canada. Who is General Sir Arthur Currie? A. A military leader of the Métis in the 19th century. B. A great frontier hero. C. An explorer of Western Canada. D. Canada's greatest soldier in the First World War. Answer. Canada's greatest soldier in the First World War. Approximately how many Canadians served in the First World War? A. 7,000 B. 8 million C. About 60,000 D. More than 600,000 Answer. More than 600,000 what was the women's suffrage movement? A. The effort by women to achieve the right to vote. B. The effort by women to participate in military service. C. An unsuccessful movement to get husbands to do housework. D. The effort by women to be in Parliament. Answer. The effort by women to achieve the right to vote. When is Remembrance Day celebrated? A. July the 1st B. 
October the 1st. C. November the 11th. D. December 25th. Answer. November the 11th. In the 1960s, Quebec experienced an era of rapid change. What is this called? A. The West Movement. B. The Revolution. C. The Quiet Revolution. D. La Francophonie. Answer. The Quiet Revolution. Which of the following is not a feature of Canada's system of government? A. A federal state. B. Parliamentary democracy. C. Constitutional monarchy. D. Dictatorship. Answer. Dictatorship. Who have major responsibilities on First Nation reserves? A. Band chiefs and councillors. B. Municipal governments. C. Provincial and territorial governments. D. Federal government. Answer. Band chiefs and councillors. What is Canada's national winter sport? A. Golf in Florida. B. Nordic skiing. C. Lacrosse. D. Hockey. Answer. Hockey. How many Canadians have been awarded the Victoria Cross, VC, the highest honour available to Canadians? A. 56 B. 96 C. 1024 D. 42 Answer. 96 What is meant by the equality of women and men? A. Men and women are equal under the law. B. Men and women must both do the housework. C. Women may now go to school and enter the professional workforce. D. A woman may now become Prime Minister. Answer. Men and women are equal under the law. Who are the founding peoples of Canada? A. Métis, French and British. B. Aboriginal, Métis and British. C. Inuit, Aboriginal and British. D. Aboriginal, French and British. Answer. Aboriginal, French and British. What does the word Inuit mean? Eskimo in Inuktitut language. B. Home in English. C. The people in the Inuktitut language. D. The Arctic land in the Inuktitut language. Answer. The people in the Inuktitut language. What percentage of Aboriginal people are First Nations? A. 30%, B, 6%, C, 50%, D, 65%. Answer, 65%. What did the Canadian Pacific Railway symbolize? A, easy access to the West Coast. B, what can be achieved by working together? C, unity. D. Ribbons of Steel. Answer. Unity. What does it mean to say Canada is a constitutional monarchy? A. The sovereign, king or queen, is the lawmaker of Canada. B. Canada's head of state is the hereditary sovereign, queen or king, who reigns in accordance with the constitution. C. The sovereign, queen or king, represents Canadians in Parliament. D. The Sovereign, Queen or King approves bills before becoming law. Answer. Canada's Head of State is the Hereditary Sovereign, Queen or King 
who reigns in accordance with the Constitution. What is the highest military honour a Canadian can receive? A. Purple Cross B. Badge of Courage C. Order of Merit D. Victoria Cross Answer. Victoria Cross In Canada, are you obliged to tell others how you voted? A. If the Lieutenant Governor asks, yes. B. No, but you may choose to discuss how you voted with others. C. If your Member of Parliament asks, yes. D. If your family would like to know how you voted, yes. Answer. No, but you may choose to discuss how you voted with others. Who was Sir Louis Hippolyte La Fontaine? A. A champion of democracy and Aboriginal rights. B. A champion of democracy and French language rights and the first leader of a responsible government in the Canadas. C. The first head of state. D. The first French-speaking Prime Minister. Answer. A champion of democracy and French language rights and the first leader of a responsible government in the Canadas. What does the term responsible government mean? A. Each person in each electoral district is responsible for voting. B. The Governor-General is responsible for the actions of the Prime Minister. C. The Ministers of the Crown must have the support of a majority of the elected representatives in order to govern. D. All Canadians are responsible for each other. Answer. The Ministers of the Crown must have the support of a majority of the elected representatives in order to govern. In Canada, are you allowed to question the police about their service or conduct? A. No. Police service and conduct is not open to discussion with Canadians. B. Yes. You can question their service but not their conduct. C. Yes, you can question their conduct but not their service. D. Yes, if you feel the need to. Answer. Yes, if you feel the need to. What is the role of the courts in Canada? A. To enforce the law. B. To guide people in our society. C. To settle disputes. D. To express values and beliefs of Canadians. Answer. To settle disputes. When you vote on Election Day, what do you do? A. Go to the voting station, tell them who you are and mark your X. Give the ballot back to the attendant. B. Go to the voting station, remove one ballot, and after marking your X, deposit it in the ballot box. C. Go to the voting station, take your voter's card with proof of identity, highlight your choice on the ballot, and deposit it in the box. D. Go to the voting station with your voter's card and ID. Mark an X in the circle next to the candidate of your choice. Fold the ballot and present it to the poll officials. Answer. Go to the voting station with your voter's card and ID. Mark an X in the circle next to the candidate of your choice. Fold the ballot and present it to the poll officials. Name two key documents that contain our rights and freedoms. A. The Canadian Constitution and English Common Law B. Civil Code of France and the Canadian Constitution C. Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms and Magna Carta, the Great Charter of Freedoms D. Laws passed by Parliament and English Common Law Answer. Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms and Magna Carta the Great Charter of Freedoms. What is the difference between the role of the Sovereign and that of the Prime Minister? A. The Sovereign is Head of State. The Prime Minister oversees provincial policies. 
B. The Sovereign is the guardian of constitutional freedoms. The Prime Minister selects the Cabinet Ministers and is responsible for operations and policy of government. C. The Sovereign links Canada to 52 other nations and the Prime Minister is the guardian of constitutional freedoms. D. The Sovereign is the symbol of Canadian sovereignty and the Prime Minister is her aide. Answer. The Sovereign is the guardian of constitutional freedoms. The Prime Minister selects Cabinet Ministers and is responsible for operations and policy of government. What is the significance of the discovery of insulin by Sir Frederick Banting and Charles Best? A. Insulin is a hormone that permits you to eat anything you wish. B. Insulin has saved 16 million lives worldwide. C. Discovering insulin opened the doors to more discoveries. D. Discovering insulin made Dr. Banting and Best famous. Answer. Insulin has saved 16 million lives worldwide. What are some examples of taking responsibility for yourself and your family? A. Buying a house and a TV. B. Getting a job, taking care of one's family and working hard in keeping with one's abilities. C. Doing laundry and keeping the house clean. D. Study hard so you can earn enough money to take a vacation. Answer. Getting a job, taking care of one's family and working hard in keeping with one's abilities. Which three countries are signatories to NAFTA? A. Canada, the United Kingdom and the United States. B. Canada, the United States and Japan. C. Canada, Mexico and the United States. D. Canada, Denmark and Andorra. Answer. Canada, Mexico and the United States. What was the significance of the June 6, 1944 invasion of Normandy? A. It led to the establishment of the Juno Awards. B. It liberated North Africa from Nazi occupation. C. Canadians made a significant contribution to the defeat of Nazism and fascism in Europe during the Second World War. D. It resulted in the forcible relocation of Canadians of Japanese origin. Answer. Canadians made a significant contribution to the defeat of Nazism and fascism in Europe during the Second World War. Fatima is a new immigrant in Canada. What law allows her to take up a job at par with a man? A. Equality of women and men. B. Equality of all races. C. Equal pay for equal work. D. Equal rights. Answer. Equality of women and men. What is the Queen's representative in the territories called? A. Premier. B. Governor General. C. Commissioner. D. Member of Parliament. Answer. Commissioner. Why is the Battle of Vimy Ridge important? A. It was a key position of the German line in northern France. B. Canadian Corps secured its reputation for valour and bravery. C. It was the hinge of the German line as it protected the newly constructed Hindenburg Line. D. Once Canadians fought at Vimy, they knew they would be heading home. Answer. Canadian Corps secured its reputation for valour and bravery. What is a majority government? A. When the party in power holds about one-third of the seats in the House of Commons. B. When the party in power holds about one-quarter of the seats in the House of Commons. C. When the party in power holds at least half of the seats in the Senate. D. When the party in power holds at least half of the seats in the House of Commons.
Answer. When the party in power holds at least half of the seats in the House of Commons. Which province is the main producer of pulp and paper and hydroelectricity? A. Quebec B. Ontario C. British Columbia D. Manitoba Answer. Quebec A Member of Parliament from Montreal announces that she will spend her weekend in her electoral district. This means she would be A. In her office on Parliament Hill B. Visiting the province of Quebec C. In some part of Montreal where she was elected D. Going on a vacation Answer. In some part of Montreal where she was elected What is the Queen's representative in the territories called? A. Premier B. Governor-General C. Commissioner D. Member of Parliament Answer. Commissioner. How is a cabinet minister chosen? A. By the Queen. B. By the voters. C. By other cabinet ministers. D. By the Prime Minister. Answer. By the Prime Minister. The Canadian coat of arms and motto is Amare Usk Admare. This means A. From the ocean to the sea B. From sea to sea C. From the sea to the ends of the earth D. From the water to the earth Answer. From sea to sea Canada has three territories. How many provinces? A. 13 B. 10 C. 3 D. 5 Answer. 10 Who is the leader of the Federal Official Opposition Party? A. Thomas Mulcair B. Stephen Dion C. Bob Ray D. Adrian Dix Answer. Thomas Mulcair what three industries are important to New Brunswick's economy today? A. Forestry, hydroelectric power generation, oil. B. Fisheries, oil, tourism. C. Atlantic trade, fishing and oil. D. Forestry, agriculture and mining. Answer. Forestry, agriculture and mining.